So the connector is a fictionalized version of sort of a common tale, which is that of a journalist who takes over and is, and is beloved and tells these sort of incredible stories and constantly gets published and then it comes out that they were a lie. It sort of asks the question, how can something like this happen and why does something like this happen and who are the people that sort of support this kind of con artist, really? It's also about the pursuit of truth and the journalistic integrity that this country has, um, you know, had come under fire of late. As uh, competition in journalism has only grown with the advent of the internet. Um, and the 24-hour news cycle. And the 24-hour news cycle, you end up, you know, with people really saying whatever they can to get your attention. The Obama the administration was leaving and the Trump administration was about to be sworn in. And now, obviously, we're living in a really ridiculous, sort of dystopic version of that. CNN's fake news. I don't take questions. I don't take questions from CNN. CNN is fake news. I don't take questions from CNN. Something about the term fake news is it's sort of been taken over by the Trump administration to attack the media, which no one is a fan of. Um, I'm not interested in attacking journalists, but I think we do need to look at the way um, everyone on any side of the political aisle can manipulate situations to feed whoever their their viewer is, and that, that happens right, left, center, everywhere. I think the show does a really good job of investigating, you know, how important the truth is and, and actually how ever present the truth is, even when a lie is being told. We had both been inching off of social media. You feel like you're doing something with all of these things people are posting and liking and commenting and here's my hot take and here's my pithy response and you know, but it's not actually shifting anyone or anything. It's thematic to what the show is about in that Jack, who runs Twitter, is sort of relinquishing responsibility uh, for what right. he's doing to the American culture by allowing our president to say things that are checked by you know any respected source is not true and lets that information get out further and further and that's a huge problem. Yeah.